Hello everyone, welcome to Healthy Living on Dove Television. Thank you always for finding time to join us and um, we are about to discuss health matters, you know, health related issues so that you can know better ways on how to take care of yourself. So I pray that in any way you're going through any health challenge and you receive your healing in the name of Jesus. My name is Lillian Ogedegbe, and today on Healthy Living, like we do every week on this station, we have um, a guest in the house, our in-house doctor, a regular face on Healthy Living on Dove TV. He's also the host of Family Line on Dove TV and also the senior pastor of Headstone Church in Lagos, Nigeria. Please join me and welcome Dr. Chris William. Thank you. <laughs> How Thank are you. you doing, Dr. Lillian? Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for joining I us like today. I like your combination of blue and yellow. <laughs> well, I give God the glory for Thank and God. the Holy Spirit for helping me. Amongst the... For this program, um, Healthy Living, we thank you for this edition. We commit it in your hands. And we ask that you breathe on it. Help us to use it to benefit millions across the world. In the name of Jesus. Thank Amen. you, Father. In thank Jesus' you. name. Amen. 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 And so, child of God, as we kickstart this conversation right now, you can also watch us via our social media platforms. This edition is streaming live on Facebook and also on YouTube. Please visit our site. It's Dove Television. That's the handle. You can also download OH Prime TV on your mobile device. And condition, skin condition, in which the air follicles, that's the holes through which the air come out get blocked with excessive oil being produced by the skin. So it's either, it's either it's blocked with excessive oil okay. or it is blocked with dead skin cells. Mm. So when dead skin cells or the excessive, normally our skins, skins produce oil. Yes. Uh, in persons where uh, their skin is not producing adequate oil, skin produces oil normally. But uh, under some conditions, the Oil being produced can be excessive, okay. and as such, it will block those air follicles, those holes there, okay. or millions of them on our skin, and that leads to acne. Okay, okay so acne is um, the general name. Pimples is a type of acne. Okay, okay there are different forms of acne. Uh, some are purples, some are pimples, some are white heads, some are black heads. Okay. Uh, and then some are even nodules, different ones, all right? And then, uh, like um, your boss asked, it's more common amongst teenagers, and there's a reason which we'll talk about. But under some increased hormonal activity later in life, mm. it can also happen. For instance, in pregnancy. Okay. In pregnancy, I'm sure you have seen pregnant women, women break out with pimples. Mm. So there's plenty of hormonal activities going on, Okay. Also, um, if somebody is having hormonal replacement, testosterone replacement, uh, pimples can break out. Okay. So what also leads to it in teenage is hormonal activity. Okay. So as this uh, young man or woman is getting to puberty, mm. they begin to uh, secrete testosterone. Testosterone is the hormone uh, that we have said is responsible for sexual libido and all that. Okay. Okay, but it is, and it is both in men and women, but it is more in uh, men. So in either sex, if it gets, if it's, the secretion is high, it can lead to pimples. Mm. So it's not pimples or acne, it's not only a teenage thing. Okay. It can happen under situations of stress okay. or something. Like so those are, right yes, those are pictures. Those are pictures. So for instance, um, we, we see several on that boy's face. Yes. There's white head there, there's, uh, there's black head there, okay. and there are people. On an average face, you see like this three is, or four. Black so head. you can see the black heads, okay. and then you can see the purples. The purples are the ones that don't have black heads. Okay. Okay. But, and then these are pimples, the ones that have uh, some pores oh, okay. uh, inside it. Okay. Okay. Several ones. So okay. on an average person. How about this? Uh, okay. So that's it. These are even uh, forming some kind of nodules. Mm. They are getting advanced. Okay. So in an average person, you have pimples, you have purples, you have that. So that's it. Mm. Uh, so that is that. So how is it formed? The skin pores are blocked by excessive oil being produced by the skin 
or dead skin cells. Mm. Okay, so that's the basic uh, cause of, of it. Um, where does it happen more? It happens on the face, on the forehead, on the back of the shoulders, on the back of the neck. Mm -hmm. Those are the, and then the shoulders also on the back of the neck also. Mm -hmm. Those are the places that it happens. Okay, so trigger points are many. The things that trigger it are many. Number one, increased hormonal activity. We have talked about it. Or during puberty, during pregnancy. Or hormonal imbalance. You, that's why you see some women, they are not pregnant, they are not teenagers, but they are still having a, a, a battles with acne. Mm. It, they are having some kind of hormonal imbalance. So you can tell this woman is struggling with some imbalance of hormones okay. here and there. Certain medications can cause it. Okay, doctor, yes. just before we go into some of the medications that yeah. could cause it, you said um, hormonal imbalance yes. could cause acne. Yes. This also happens in men too. Oh, yes. But how come women seem to have, people seem to be a woman, a woman's sickness or yes. a woman's trouble yes. than the men? Why? It's because we, women have to do a lot with hormonal things. Oh, okay. But you know, the, the normal, the, the, the woman's, uh, there are the hormones, yes, cycles. Okay. So they come with different hormones. Okay. So this hormone is happening during this time. So hormonal interplay is much more in women okay. than in men. One man is just one hormone, just all uh, day in, day out, week in, week out, month in, month out. Mm. That's why. So certain medications, like steroidal medications, some people who are lifting, lifting weights, okay. they may begin to, they may use some, some steroids. Uh, it can, they, they can break out with pimples. Uh, and then I said earlier, when somebody is having testosterone replacement, maybe the person is having issues or the other with some kind of things, and they decide to start giving him external testosterone, he can break out with it. Mm -hmm. Then this is important, overeating of carbohydrates. Oh, overeating yes. of carbohydrates. Yes, overeating of hyperglycemic carbohydrates. Carbohydrates divide into two. The ones that are very glycemic, or we call them that are too starchy. Okay. And then the ones that are less glycemic, the ones that are very glycemic, the, the, the tubers, the cassava, mm. the yam, mm -hmm. you know, and, and then the apple and all that. <laughs> the very, fufu, uh, okay. Uh, yes. And then How about the potatoes? Ones, uh, potatoes is low okay. glycemic. Okay. Coco yam is low glycemic. Okay. Beans is low glycemic. Okay. But all the other ones we rice. called earlier. Rice is in between. Some okay. rice can be low glycemic. Okay. Others can be high glycemic. Like basmatic rice, brown rice are low glycemic. Or further may be a bit low glycemic. Okay. And then um, the other uh, polished rice. Uh, high glycemic. Okay. okay, so also processed carbohydrates like flour foods, pastas and pastries. Mm. These are the things that trigger it. So somebody is watching and you notice when you have eaten this kind of food, this breaks out. Or you break out from time to time. If you, if you sit down and think about what you have been eating recently, it may tell you the reason for the breakouts. Mm. God okay. help me and spag, because I eat spag a lot. Oh, yes. So <laughs> stress and anxiety. Okay. This is why it's important. This is why students around exam, <laughs> they notice they break out with, uh, with, acne. With, with acne. Around exam, mm. they notice they break out with acne. Okay? Uh, because it's a high stress situation. So any high stress situation, maybe something is going on at work or something is just stressing you, uh, the people who are prone to it can break out with it you know Pastor, okay. doctor i actually believe you you know um though god has helped me and delivered me from pimples i used to battle pimples you know back wow. in the days but right now i'm fine but i, I noticed that whenever i'm going through stress mm, you know i just see you know one or two, one or two mm, pimples yeah. on my, that's one of the ways i tell yes, that Lillian, yeah. i think you're going through stress oh, yes, at the yes, moment yes. Okay. Uh, acne is very stress sensitive okay okay and then this is also important using of heavy cosmetics especially oil-based cosmetics. Mm. So, of uh, course, cos cosmetics are, are either made with, uh, with, a, with oil or with uh, water. Mm. So if you must use cosmetics, use water-based, not oil-based. Okay. And then use cosmetics lightly. Okay. Very important. And then when you have used it, cleanse it. Cleanse it at the end of the day. Some women are ever on cosmetics. Even when they are at home, they are ever on cosmetics. And they even go to bed with it. Mm. That's not very good, okay? So let it be that it's only when you are going out that you do your cosmetics. Okay. You let it be water-based. Let it be light. Don't let it be too heavy. Okay. And then at the end of the day, make sure you do facial cleansing. Okay. That's very important. 
very important. But abandoning it there, it will clog. Remember, mm. we said it is the blocking or the clogging of the air follicles that leads to it. Mm. Okay? Uh, by the way, I forgot there are um, three other things that cause, ex uh, that are the cause. So the clogging is one. Also, there are bacteria on the face. Okay. P. acne, the bacteria that uh, there's ba some bacteria called P. acne. Okay, so when it's um, due to some things or the other, if it is uh, if it uh, multiplies on the face, it can also lead to acne. Mm. Okay, if it multiplies, so if somebody is dirty or you are not taking care, you are always also when you rub your hand on your face, okay. you are stimulating that oil gland, mm. the sebaceous gland, to cr to produce more oil. Okay, really? Okay, mm. yes. When you, every time your hand is on your face, mm. you are stimulating it to produce more oil mm. and then it can block. Mm. Okay, also if somebody uh, is always in the sun okay. uh, and their face is dry, mm. the brain will get the trigger that this person needs to on the face. It will go ahead and produce more and that reaction will produce excess oil mm. and it can also lead mm. to acne. Mm. Okay, so um, overexposure to sun, Eating of I, I, uh, abuse of dairy products. Okay. We are back to where we always uh, find ourselves. Uh, chicken, beef, turkey. People who abuse it, they eat it too much. They will have issues with acne. Okay. Now, it's not everybody who eats it too much will have issue, but it's a trigger point. Okay. It's a trigger point. Okay. It can also have family history. Okay. okay. I was going to uh, add that yeah. it is genetic. Yes, you know. it, can, it can run. Everything the, seems it, to just be genetic. Well, <laughs> gene is very powerful. Hmm. If you can carry voices, one day and somebody was talking down our house. Okay. And I asked my wife, hmm. Do, I hope you know this is not this person. She said, it is. So we, we, she was we were like, like arguing. Hmm. Then we looked out and then I was right. Hmm. The person who was talking was the son of the other person. And their voice is exactly the same thing. Hmm. So gin is very powerful. Rubbing your hand uh, on your face, especially if it is dirty. And then constipation generally. Okay. If somebody is not pooing very well, it can also cause it. This is also another reason why it is higher in women. Okay. Because the hormonal activities in women tend to cause constipation. Um, a lot of women are constipated. Hmm. Women are more constipated than men, let me put it that way because of the interface of interplays of the um, hormonal things. And then it, it, so the toxins are not leaving and then they just find expression okay. in the body. Mm. Lastly, when you, if you have one little pimples there, mm. it's a very terrible um, habit to be picking it. And I was gonna ask- While you are picking it, you are further putting pressure and friction around here. Yes. And then you are adding dirt there yeah. and then it will be spreading. And then you start picking it, and then before you know it, everywhere is covered. Well, you know what, Pastor and uh, Doctor, sometimes it's not even the person. Mm. It's not like the person's fault. Mm. People has a way that it just make you want to pick your it. Hand, your, you just want to touch it. There, yeah. And then you're pressing, mm. and before you know, you just see your hand. Yeah. There's this, it comes naturally, yes, it comes it, unconsciously, it is, it is, you know. It's, it's a reflex. Yes. But so what you do is you... <laughs> you bring down your hand. Okay. But there so are some I'm, people, after when they see people on your face, they, they have this talent. To they want to, uh, yeah, you have, let, come let me help uh, you. Let yes, me. Uh, that's a very bad idea. Okay. It's a very bad idea. Mm. Okay, so those are the causes and the trigger points. Uh, talking about management, yes, sir. we usually need to start from the beginning. Okay. Just uh, revert the causes. So stop picking your face, Okay. for instance. Okay, stop rubbing your hands on your face. Right. Even if you must rub your hands on your face, let it be clean hands. Mm. Uh, family history, you may not be able to do too much about it. Okay. Reduce drastically your eating of, uh, of dairy products. Mm. Reduce it drastically. Mm. Reduce it drastically. And not only for pimples, for uh, um, somebody may have noticed, and uh, you know, I've taken particular delight in making that research. Every sickness I, I, I research and study, I want to see if food has a role to play with it or not. And I've not come across one where food does not have a role to play with it. Okay. As a matter of fact, I was meditating on some of these things a couple of weeks back, and it dawned on me. If somebody can just control their eating, mm. they will be free from a lot of things in life. Mm. 
Uh, if not even totally free, it will not be able to harass them. Eating does a lot of damage to us. Okay, and then we'll talk more about that. So reduce your intake of dairy products. Very important because these dairies, the chicken, the turkey, and all that that we are eating, it's a lot of chemicals they are using to produce them. Mm. A lot of um, growth hormones, all manners of chemical fertilizers they give them that make them big like that. Mm. In six weeks, they have grown to adult size. But we don't have choice. We must okay. eat now. Uh, but you reduce it. Okay. So uh, you reduce it. So I said, in place of that, do fish. Okay. Fish is also protein, but at least it is uh, less whatever. And then it's even better if you grill the fish. Okay. Or you eat dried fish. Okay. That's what I do in my house. We eat fish, and we don't have problems with overweight. Myself and my wife mm. went to. She was having a headache. And um, so I said, I think we should go and check your blood pressure. The machine we have is not in the house now. So we went to a nearby pharmacy and she checked her own, okay? And then uh, 112 over something. I checked my own, 113 over 80. My blood pressure hmm. at uh, my age. And I'm not a small boy by any standard. Yeah, of course. 113 <laughs> over 80, that's my blood pressure. Hmm. I, 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 it was something, I said, wow, this thing is really working. Mm. Okay, so reduce, uh, mind the way you eat. So we said I got, uh, carbohydrate also causes it. So stay away from uh, carbohydrates. What are be better carbohydrates? Uh, Cocoa yam. Okay. Uh, 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 Irish potatoes. If you must do sweet potatoes, don't let it be too much. Okay. okay? Uh, beans is good food. Plantain, all right, plantain is okay, okay for you. Okay. okay, I forgot to talk, to talk about uh, frying of oils. Mm. Frying of oils, also eating too much oil. Since the problem is it's excessive oil, oil. Related, yes. uh, so reduce it, reduce it. And mind the oils you use. Okay. okay? What, what are good oils? Olive oil, um, uh, olive oils, uh, our oil is and canola oil, olive oil, sunflower oil, canola oil. Those are good oils. Okay. And then don't overuse oils. Don't stop eating. Don't abuse eating of fried. Things. So very important. Don't overexpose to sun. Okay. Don't overexpose to sun. Sun is good. Some uh, exposure to sun produces vitamin D, but overexposure to it okay, is doctor. untoward. Now we know that. Okay. Because these things you just said seem to be like an adult thing. Yes. Don't eat this. Don't eat that. Mm. Don't rub your your hands or um, don't rub your face all the time with your hands. Mm. Don't expose yourself too much to the sun. This like an adult to manage his or her life. Mm. I've seen a child of mm. three years old mm. with pimples. Yes. And I'm like, this is supposed to be an adult thing. Mm. That person is going to have plenty of issues when they are, when, when they are about puberty. Mm. But then also, remember we said, oil, excessive oil is plugging the, the, the air follicles. Yes, sir. Okay? And sometimes it's due to hormonal activity. But in this child, it's not hormonal activity. I was going to add but that. But others coming. Okay. okay. Maybe somehow he, they are, he, he's, the boy plays around dirty places okay. and he's using those hands to, to rub, rub his, his body. Okay. Or somehow his hands is always on his face. If his hands are always on his face, it will create friction and the sebaceous glands will produce a lot of oils and they will bring us back to the same place mm. where we started from. But it's not as common as in, ch in children like that, but mm. it's not that it cannot happen. Okay. Is this acne thing, does, this, does, it have to, does it have anything to do with the blood or the internal system? Because I've heard somebody who says that probably you need to detoxify, you need oh, to yes. cleanse Oh, yes. I said blood. it here. Okay. When you are constipated, you are okay. not clean on the inside. It can position you for it. Okay. Okay. So part of the things, um, you, you almost took it from my mouth, is detox yourself regularly. Okay. If you're clean on the inside, your outside will also be clean. Detox okay. regularly. Eat things, do things that detoxify you. Cucumber, cabbage, carrot, blend it, drink those things. I've said it over and again, like, up to like a cup a day or two, or depending on your need, or one liter okay. in a day. Drink alkalized water, like three liters of water daily. Okay, alkalize water, add lemon to, to alkalize it, or you get alkaline drop. Okay, and then uh, get detox yourself. Take detox uh, programs. Okay. okay, I even recommend enema for some persons who are adults. Do enemas for yourself and, and, and all that. Mm. Yeah, so these are the plenty things that one can do. Okay, we also say stress, so reduce stress. 
and then, you know sometimes there are things that there are stress that one can redeem. If if exam is around the corner now, you will be stressed somehow. Mm. Uh, so you go past, through that one. But most people are stressed. More people, let me put that way, are stressed because their lives are not structured well. They leave the things they should do till the time when it's late or around deadline and they come under stress. Why are you laughing? The Lord are, will you, help us. are you a culprit? <laughs> the Lord will help us. <laughs> okay. We have some very um, last minute, mm. last minute readers. You know, you uh, have exams yeah. two weeks, three. You won't read when it's like four days, mm. three days to the exam. You just start reading. Myself, oh, particularly, God, I don't do well under stress, so I try to avoid it. I don't know how some people mm. manage this. Mm. I know somebody who can't read three days to his exam. Mm. He can read a month, mm. three weeks, two weeks, mm. and a week and few days to the exam. He doesn't read anymore. And yes. I'm like, how, do you, how, how, will not, how can I survive that? And, and it's a better way of reading. Our, one of forget. our professors <laughs> told us how he used to read when he was in class. He was one of the best. Even at, as an old man, he was a very, you know this man is very intelligent. Mm. He said he would read from day one of lectures. Mm. And then like one week to exam, he would just look at his book on his bed, yes. like two hours and sleep off. It's a better way. You retain more. You have so, but many people they will just be gallivanting around. For us, who were doing ministry around campus, then after twelve exam, we start shaking, and that's not a very good thing to do. Mm. Yes, yeah, so that that's that. Doctor, uh, doctor, please, just before you continue, sir, uh, acne or pimples supposed to be something related to the face. Mm. You know, most often to the face. But I've seen people who complain of pimples in their head or even at the back of their. Of the eye. There, are skin, there are skin pores there. There are air follicles there. Okay. Anywhere air follicles are. And people have acne can all actually be there. Mm. But it has a predilection for face, forehead, and all that. Mm. It can be there. It can be anywhere mm. where, there's, uh, uh, where there are whatever. So there are some other things to do. Okay. okay. Cleansing regularly is so very important. Okay, um, so. That's uh, facial cleansing. Okay. Facial cleansing is very good. Uh, there are several preparations. Some have uh, methylated spirit, diluted methylated spirit, with something or the other. Mm. You can use that. Mm. You can also use tea tree oil. Tea tree oil. Tea. The tea we drink. Then yes. tree. The tree that has fruit. Yes. Tea tree oil. Okay. If you take it, put just one part, mix it with four parts of water. You can use it to dab the face and clean the face. It's usually very good. You can also take boiled green tea. Green tea, when it is cold, use it to clean the face. The green liquid tea. itself or the bag or the tea bag? No, 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 the liquid. The liquid itself, uh, okay. It's a very good antioxidant. It removes a lot of deaths from the face. Okay, and then you they keep the oil, the face moistured or moistened okay. with aloe vera. Okay. Aloe vera uh, gel. Aloe vera gel. Okay, it's usually very good. Aloe is uh, very good for several things. These are the few other things one can do. Mm. Uh, and then always exfoliate. You know there are marks. Uh, the ladies have these marks, some yes, preparations, facial marks, facial yeah. marks yeah. that they put and then you peel it off. Yes. It helps to remove the dead skin cells, okay. all those things. Uh, so if you are battling with it, go get some good uh, facial marks and then exfoliate regularly. The attack of acne will go down. Okay. okay? So why did I choose this this time around? I, so I came across another young lady whom I had to run after and say, I can help you. I can help you. And then, um, so uh, I've, done, I've had to do that like three or four times. When you see a young lady, you know, ah, you, I, you can imagine the kind of self-esteem uh, issues they will be battling. And it can even stand in the way of their getting married. The things on her face almost as big as this. Okay, so that's why I said this is a good time to mm. talk about this for mm. our viewers. Mm. Mm. I know somebody, but well, let me ask this question mm. on behalf of one of the interns or the ladies in my office. She mm. was like, she's tried everything mm. to manage the pimples on her face. She mm. does face, uh, washing of the face in the morning. Mm -hmm. She was like, I, I wash my face every morning. I try to cleanse, I try to expirate and all of that. And she was like, these pimples seem not to want to go. So, and then she's like, I don't even know what to do. And so it has blackheads. Black, I mean, blackheads. Black mm, very ugly. So what things. can somebody do? I haven't tried all of this, you know. And you know one thing about one thing about pimples. Just when a lady has pimples, that's when all her friends will become doctors. Everybody mm. will recommend. Uh, do this try, one, this, do this one. try this. Try this. Try this. And then thing will be growing worse. <sighs> now, so what should she do? We've said plenty of things here. Mm. Additional. She should watch her food. Okay. Stop eating oily things. 
reduce intake of uh, high, high gly glycemic foods, mm. reduce intake of dairy products, or remove it completely. Mm. And then exercising, I didn't remember to talk about exercising, okay. making sure you exercise, that you sweat. Mm. It's the same pore that sweat comes from, okay? So as sweat is coming regularly mm. to keep it cleaned, mm. Okay. You understand? Okay. You know, we said the pause is blocked. Yes. But if you are somebody who sweats regularly, it's difficult for it to be blocked. Okay. Okay. All yes. right. Let's quickly take a break at this moment. Okay. At least if there's one thing I know, you can you can prevent this by watching the kind of food that you eat. Yes. You can manage this by keeping your face clean at all times. And another way to also manage this is by regular exercise. So when mm. you exercise, you know, you sweat, and that can also help. That's also a cleansing, you know, help for you. All right, so we're going on a break. We're going on a break at this moment. When we come back, we'll continue this conversation, and so we can begin to take your calls and SMSs. God bless you. We'll be right back. Kindly call this number 002 0002-965-7760. Or send us an email feedback at dogvision.org. Thank you and God bless you. Welcome back. You're watching Healthy Living on Dove TV. God bless you so much for staying with us. If you actually joined us from the beginning, I hope you have learned one or two things for yourself. That can also be for someone else. You know, sometimes we learn things not necessarily for ourselves. We learn for ourselves and also to be a blessing, to also help those around us. So just in case you have somebody who is battling acne in any way, okay, pimples and all of that, you now know what to do, how to help the person. So at this moment, our time is now, we have time into the our program, so our phone line will be displayed and showing on your TV screen. Please feel free to call or send an SMS to us if you have any question related to what we are discussing or any question at all you want to talk to ask doctor about, please feel free, Dr. Chris William is still in the house. Doctor, thank you, thank you so much, sir. So doctor, because today we are looking at natural way mm. to manage acne, okay? Some mm. people now, look, you know, before now, okay, we want to get this drug, mm. we want to get this uh, facial cleanser. So when I felt, when I thought you were coming, okay, natural way, maybe doctor is going to tell me to get some herbs, you mm. know? <laughs> maybe this can, maybe this help can help manage and all of that. So. Yeah, Let's so we that. talked about tea tree. All right, sir. Tea tree oil. Mm. You take one part of it, it's natural. And then the oil of tea tree, mm. you, 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 you take one part of it, mix it with four parts of water, and use it to clean the face. Okay. Also, we talked about masks. So you facial can actually mask. prepare your facial masks at home. Okay. If you mix honey, little honey with cinnamon, mm. cinnamon powder, you mix it with little honey, it, it can form a facial mask. And then you leave it on your face for like 30 minutes. Sorry, I didn't get that, sir. Honey. Honey. Plus cinnamon powder. Plus cinnamon powder, okay. Yes. Very good. It can form a facial mask. You put it on your face oh, and okay. it's natural. Okay. Okay. You can also use apple cider vinegar. Okay. Just one part also with four parts of water. And then use it to cleanse your face. Hmm. Okay. Very important. Let it stay for like uh, half a minute and then you quickly uh, wash it off. Hmm. We also talked about green tea. Okay. Boil green tea, take the water, and then clean it. Okay, uh, but I want to elaborate on reducing stress. Okay. Many persons don't know how to deal with stress. Okay, and quickly, uh, if time permits us, I'll just share like seven hours for reducing stress. Number one, recognize what is stressing you. Okay. Recognize it. Uh, okay, until you recognize it, you can't even battle it. Okay, number two, recondition your mind. Don't allow every 
thing to stress you. Some people are like that. Every little thing around them stresses them. It's a conditioning of the mind. And then you, you, every you, every you little know. thing stresses them. There are some yeah. people, people like us, oh mm. my God, little words. Mm. Don't even say it. Mm. The moment you say it, I might have to think it over. Oh, and okay. So, <laughs> so what to do is yes. to um, um, also recondition one's mind. You, have you seen some people, if the, if the whole world seems to be falling, yes. they look completely. They are not up. moved. Uh, it's, a, it's a conditioning. That's a great grace. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Let's take this call. Okay. Mm. All right, Doctor, we have Victoria who has called us from Abuja. Hello, Victoria. Thank you so much for joining Hello, us. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you, ma'am. I'm enjoying the program. I know somebody is The line is not clear. Victoria, could you please speak up or repeat yourself? We didn't hear you. Hello, Victoria. Okay, um, the line was not clear, but mm. Victoria, thank you for calling in. You may just send an SMS, okay? Thank you so much. So, right, uh, we're talking about reconditioning one's mind. Mind. Okay, um, learning to be at rest. Okay. Fretting, anxiety, worry can't change anything. Okay, if you do what you think it's right and you have done it, just uh, watch God do his own part. Mm. Okay, recondition your mind, so very important. Another one is refuse. Mm. Don't learn to say no, don't overtake things on yourself. You are not El Shaddai, like my pastor would say. Mm. If you want to be El Shaddai, you will become I shall die. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> you, you are gonna kill yourself. Mm. Okay, um, so learn to say no, you are not a superman. Okay, because some people are experts at dumping responsibilities, their responsibilities on other people. Okay, so, uh, and then next one is um, uh, run, exercising. Exercising helps bond stress like no, like, like no other thing can do. Okay. So, um, exercising, walking, jogging, cycling. Okay, another one is recreating, recreating, uh, just... Um, Locate what gives you fun, and um, if, it's, uh, if it's within righteous means, do it regularly. Okay. okay? Look at that word, recreate. Recreate. It, it, it rejuvenates you. Mm. Okay? Uh, next to that is rest. Right. Uh, 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 they have said if you refuse to rest, you will soon be late to rest. God forbid. Okay. Uh, find time to rest. Okay. Sleep well. Okay, you All wanted right. something? Yes, I want to take this message. This yeah. person says that um, he has... These black spots on the face that increases daily. What can, what can this person use? The things we are saying are the things they should use. Use treaty oil uh, solution. Mm. Use green green tea. Uh, do facial marks with onion and cinnamon. Reduce your eating of high carbohydrate. Reduce eating of um, um, of um, dairy products. Mm. Do regular exercises. And then we're talking about burning stress. Okay. Okay. So some of the messages we have here are those battling acne at the moment. Okay. Now this person says, Doctor, please, what can I use on my face? I have a bone on the two sides. No cream is working, working on it. And presently, this person is using Skinel. Yeah. So the person has a bone on yeah. the face. I, I, the, the name of that herb does not come to mind now that you can use to rejuvenate your skin. But uh, just off the cuff, aloe vera, get aloe vera gel okay. and be using on it. It can soften that scar. Aloe vera gel can do that. Aloe vera gel can help to soften the scar of the bones. And then with time, your skin will absorb it. All yes. right. Okay, we have a caller. Let's take this call. Thank you so much for joining us. Please go ahead. You are live now in the studios. Hello. Hello. Yes, please go ahead. Talk to us. Okay, my dear, I wanted to ask. I have this uh, black spot at my back. It's just in one particular place. This line is not very clear, but I think I heard that she has black spots on her back. Mm. But and maybe she's struggling with it. Find a way of cleansing your back. Okay. Okay, so 
Our husband should help her with all these materials we have talked about to clean her back. Okay. You know, the back, especially as particular spots in the back, as some person, they are. Just reminded me that, Lillian, when was last time you looked at your back uh, or yes. looked at the mirror to check your back? Exactly. And you even when baiting, the yes. scrubbing does not, some people don't take the pain. Mm. of getting to certain places. So you can imag imagine the uh, layers of debris that would have settled there. Those things can cause pea acne to multiply and uh, uh, spots will begin to grow there. Okay. All right, doctor, I have yeah. this message here. This yes. person says, good day. This is Sally for Wisdom, um, writing to us from Abuja. And the person says that uh, he plays basketball okay. under the Nigerian sun and um, he finds this, um, that it is making him become darker yeah. and the rate of pimples also has increased yes. please what can i do to prevent that because i still want to play basketball okay so what you can do is keep your for the sun keep your uh, keep your skin moistured okay okay or moistened it's very important and then there are some some creams that are uh, i've forgotten what they call them now they they help to they are sunscreens. They are called sunscreens. Sunscreen, yes. Okay. It, look for the ones that are organic. You can use aloe vera for it, but you can also look for sunscreen creams and then use them since you must still play your basketball. Okay. And then if there's a way, I don't know if there's something you can wear mm -hmm. that can help cover that Prevent or reduce it a bit, yes. Okay. Um, this person says that, um, I don't know, you didn't write your name, but um, he or she exercises daily hmm. and controls the intake of food, but still, the person still add weight rapidly. All right, well, let me just take a call. I think um, Vivian has called us back. Vivian has called. Let's take... Then it's wrong with you, especially since it is during yawning. Okay, maybe it's just that. You know, there are some people who, when they laugh, uh, they must tear. Yes. Or, I, I know like that. that there are some people like that, but even though this one is a bit too early to start. Mm. But if it worries, you go and see an eye doctor and then okay. let them check the ball. Okay. Yes. So let's talk about the person who says that he, he or she exercises daily and controls the intake of food, but yet they add weight it's rapidly. It's not about controlling intake. Okay. It's the, it, also has, it also has to do with, with uh, the type of food. Okay. Okay. The type of food. The... the that you have reduced portion does not mean you have gotten it right. Speaking you about are, quantity and quality? Yes, quality and type. Quantity, quantity and type. After that, um, what can she do? Please go and see doctors. Okay. okay. That's very important. Okay. Go and see doctor. Okay. She yes. should see a doctor. Mm. All right. I have this message. This person says, good morning, doctor. How can I cure blackheads on my face and ears? Well, I'm surprised. And oh, yeah. ears also. So uh, do more cleansing. And then do all the things that we'll be talking about. Okay. Okay. Change your diet, cleanse, stop using cosmetics uh, that are oil based. Make sure you do uh, use facial marks regularly. Okay. And then that. All right. Watch Let me stress. Take... All right. Let me take this call from Buluwatife, who has called us from Oyo State. Hello, Buluwatife. Thank you. Oh, I think we lost the call. Please call us back. I apologize for keeping you waiting. Please call us back. Thank you. Um, Victoria has called us saying that she has, um, she has, I have two children at the age of one and a half. Right. I have, okay, I'm Victoria. Doctor, I have two children at the age of one year and above. Just vomiting, what is the cause of it? What can I, what can, what can a pregnant woman eat for the baby to be healthy? I'm trying to understand Victoria's mm -hmm. message. Mm -hmm. So, but what I get is mm. a one and a half years old baby that's just vomiting. Probably. Please, so. mothers, if your child is vomiting, don't waste time. It has, by the time a child vomits, third time, fourth time, please take them to the hospital. Okay. okay? It's so very important. Uh, a child that young can easily, we can easily lose that child from just vomiting. Okay, so go and let them see a doctor. Something is wrong. Maybe the child has septicemia or the child has malaria, and then they will treat, and then they will also rehydrate. And more importantly, stop the vomiting. So very important. Okay. One of the easiest ways to, to get weak is actually mm. vomiting. Oh, yeah. oh, my yeah. God. Now, this person says, please, what can be done to eczema and body odor? This is Buki from Lagos. 
Body odor usually is a thing from inside. Okay. So keep yourself cleansed from inside, okay? Do enema, uh, 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 regular enemas, okay? And then also use detox teas that will keep, and, and maybe fiber cocktail. I spoke about fiber cocktail. Take coconut with tiger nut, blend them together, and then the chaff thereof, dry it, and then put it in a cup of water, like two or three tablespoons daily, in a cup of water, stay, drink it, drink a second and a third cup of water. You'll be pooing regularly. That thing will start going down. And then also um, strengthen your liver, okay, with um, milk tistle tablets. Milk tistle tablets? Milk tistle. Okay. Milk tistle That can be gotten anywhere. Yes, they are All supplements. Right. Okay, so you can use that to strengthen the yeah, liver. Yeah. Nifemi has written to us from Lagos saying that he gets pimples after shaving his beers. What can he do? then mind the way you shave. Or better still, get, um, get, um, change your shaving stick. Okay. If the shaving stick is too rough on the skin, it will bring pimples. Okay, in my own experience, I use gillette. Each time I don't have gillette to use, and I'm using some other ones, I will not call their names, it comes, I come down with pimples. Mm. And then when you, sh when you shave, don't shave back. Shave in one direction. Okay. okay, when you shave back, you disrupt some things. And the same things we have talked about, they get plugged and then pimples uh, start. All right, Nifemi, I hope you got that. Let's take this call from Rachel. Rachel has called us from Abuja. Hello, Rachel. Thank you so much for joining us. Hello. Rachel, are you still online? Okay, I think we lost Rachel's call. All right. Um, Charles has written to us from Imo State and yes. says that he has pimples on the face, but he's currently using honey, turmeric, and milk mask. And Pew de Lune, well, I don't know that. <laughs> Facial cleanser. So please, is it good for his, for his face? Well, I, I, I don't okay. know that thing that you Me just Me too. I, I, at least I understand honey, I understand turmeric, I understand milk mask, but I don't understand the other French Actually, words. the honey and cinnamon I talked about, yes. it's the same thing as, it's almost the same thing as honey and turmeric. Okay. Cinnamon and turmeric are, are anti-inflammatories. Okay. Okay, so, uh, but that is adding milk, I don't know about that. And then the other name you try to call, uh, since we didn't get it, we'll right. just leave it that way. But well, if, if, it's, if it seems to be working for you, why not just continue it? Yes, Charles, if it's working, you might just continue. And in case you want to get further inquiries, you could call doctor's number just after the program as his phone line will be displayed on your TV screen so you can reach him for further understanding, you know, some of the things that you might not be able to reach us through right now. Okay, we have Rachel. Rachel has called us back from Abuja. Hmm. Hello, Rachel. <laughs> Hello, Rachel, you're live. You're live with us in the studios. Okay, I'm patient, patient. Patience. Oh, apologies for that. Okay, patience, go ahead. Okay. I Hello. Yes, patience, talk to us. We can hear you. Okay. All right, um, patience. Apologize for that mix up there. Call us back, please. We still have about eight minutes to wrap up. Call us back or send an SMS to us. Um, this person says, good morning, Doc. Uh, this is Rejoice. Someone advised Rejoice to use turmeric powder mixed with miso dents and apply it on her face. What about that, sir? She's asking. Um, turmeric powder mixed with uh, miso dents. And then she says, uh, if your eye sounds like a socket when pressed and itchy, what can you do? Okay, if your eye is itching you and when then it sounds like it a sounds socket. It sounds like a socket I'm when you press it and, it's all, and it also itches you. What? But if it's itching you, that means you have some allergic reactions going on in your, in your eyes. Okay. Okay, and um, um, if you go to the pharmacy, they can give you something for allergy. There are many types of anti-allergies. I don't want to call names here. And then you just put it, it will clear. Mm -hmm. you, you can also try um, some uh, eye drops antibiotics. But if mm -hmm. it doesn't clear after you have done this too, go and see a, a doctor. Very important. Okay, okay. and then uh, mixing turmeric plus with uh, miso dent. 
Or mix with that. I, do, I do not. Is it mixed with that or mixed? Mix, mix, M I, mix, M mix. Okay. M I, I do not know that. That's like mix, M I X, I, then odens. You don't, don't know, know that. that one. But okay. turmeric, it has a feature. It's an anti inflammatory. It's good. Right. Also, just putting turmeric in water and yeah. then using it to cleanse the face can also I, mean, help. I think it also brightens the face. I tried that one time. Wow, wow, <laughs> yes. wow. All right, so let's take Tolu's call. Maybe oh, I'll I hope... try it because uh, <laughs> I didn't come with bright face as I was coming from heaven. All right, I think we lost the call from Tolu. Tolu, you may just call us back. Thank you. Um, so many messages here. I'm trying to see how to, how to manage them. Okay, how do you cure toilet infection? How do you cure toilet infection? So they need to do a, take a swab from the vagina, eye vaginal swab, and then they will grow it in the lab, culture it in the lab, and know the bacteria that it, the antibodies it's sensitive to. D there and then, only then will they be able to place on antibodies. But also, uh, uh, mixing a blend of turmeric, cinnamon, um, uh, ginger, garlic, all those four powders, and then you mix them equal, equal proportions, powder, and then you'll be taking the tea regularly, will help you a whole lot against, okay. uh, will show your immunity and help you to fight infection. Okay. If you have a smooth face, acne free, be very grateful to God. Okay. Be very grateful because all of these things, you need to see different recommendations. Anyway, uh, this person says, before then, let me take her first message. But her first message reads that she has chronic liver problem. What should she do? What can she do? She has chronic liver I'm problem. I'm hoping you are already seeing doctors. Okay. It's so very important. Uh, liver, you don't joke with your liver. Okay. Um, endocrinologist, you need to be seeing one. Uh, gastroenterologist, sorry, you need to be seeing one. And then also, that's where I would like to stop it. Because, All right. So you may just call uh, doctor yeah. much later after the yes. program. Let's take Ezin this call. Ezin. Eze has called us from Benue State. Hello? Hello, Eze. Eze. Your life. Could you talk to us? Your life, Eze. Your life with us now in the studios. Ah, okay. Eze, please call us back. All right, still continue with the person's mm. The person that wrote that he has a um, chronic liver problem. Mm. Now, this person says, Doctor, please, I use blue seal Vaseline an egg yolk for acne treatment. That's very wrong. That's very wrong. Uh, and the person said, it's working. Wow. I'm smoothing my face. Oh should I dear. continue using it? Maybe you should continue. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, Vaseline is oil-based. Yes, sir. And we said using oil, uh, it plucks all those places. But if it seems to be working, I do not know. That mention, that blue seal, I yes. don't know what it contains. Okay. But if it seems to be working for you, why not? That was why I said mm. earlier that... <laughs> If the Lord helps you, that you have a smooth uh, face, I know. acne free, many very doctors to out there. Many doctors. Mm. <laughs> but somebody said, find what works and work on it. All right, okay. find what works and, and work, work on it. On it. Yes. Very good. This person says, good morning, doctor. Please, sir, how do I get the milk thistles and where, sir? This is Esther. From a pharmacy. They are milk thistle supplements. Mm. Okay. Um, That's another supplement that the person with chronic liver disease can to get. Okay. Make this tool very useful for the liver. All right. Now this person says, hello, doctor. Please, um, can I, how can I use lemon for cleansing? What are the uses of lemon? Okay. So if you want to use lemon, just uh, one part lemon, about three parts water, and then use it to cleanse your face. And then um, you wash it after like... Uh, half a minute or one minute. Also, drinking it, put it in water and drinking it will cleanse your internals. Oh, okay. All right, sir. Thank you, sir. Now, this person says, can a baby less than three months be given water because my baby always come up with hiccups? This is wisdom from Port Harcourt. Why not? You can give him water now. Okay. Um, this is um, another message here. We have less than two minutes. Good morning, doctor. This is Kinsley. Kinsley said that he has a growth in his face it was smaller he used his finger to pinch it to pinch it out but now it has grown bigger see a doctor i do not know what type of growth it may be but really see a doctor it can be something else okay it could be something else so see yeah. a doctor now this person says uh, please doctor how can someone manage premenopause pre-menopause pre -menopause. 
start doing the things you should do if you are in menopause. Okay. okay, so many of these things we talked about, especially the dietary parts, do it. Exercise, burning weight, uh, burning stress, do all that. Okay. And then there is a supplement called black coash. Black coash. You can also get it in the pharmacies. It's very good uh, okay. for helping you to cope with menopause. All right, last question here. Um, Please, how can you, please help me ask Dotto, how can one treat skin tag to permanently remove? Skin tag. So yes. two ways they do it. They can remove it surgically mm. or they can use uh, some anti wax cream and remove it. Those are the things you, I know you, can, you should do about it. All right. Mm. Um, I have to end taking calls and messages now, but doctor's contact is now showing on your TV screen for further inquiries. Please contact Dr. Chris Williams and so he can answer all the questions that we can't take at the moment because we have less than a minute to wrap up the program. And I just hope you are blessed watching how to manage, how to prevent acne and um, most importantly, <laughs> how to just do the right things, the grace to do the right things. Doctor, thank you so much for giving you. us your time. We do really appreciate yes. this. Could you please lead us in short yes. words of prayer? Sir? You, one second, yes. please. Yes, sir. Please, if you are watching, send me a WhatsApp message saying, I watched the episode on acne. I will add you to my broadcast list and I will send you messages. Father, we thank you. Thank you for today's edition. Thank you for how you have helped us. We commit your people in your hands for your care and for your protection. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank Hallelujah. you so much. Dr. Chris William is a natural practice expert. <laughs> I like to use that. Mm -hmm. He's also the head, the senior pastor of Headstone Church in Ilupeju, Lagos, Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And um, you can always reach him after the program. And today he has helped us to understand that acne can be managed. It can be prevented also. And one thing I'm taking home from him is that find out what works and work on that. May the Lord help us all in Jesus' name. My name is Lillian Ogedegbe. I want to thank you for watching and thank my production crew for making this a success. Healthy Living will be back next week on this same station. God bless you and keep you healthy in Jesus' name. And keep our doctor healthy too. And keep us all of us healthy. <laughs> Amen. Doctor.